Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 92 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. <laughs> um, I've been really busy. Had uh, a good time last night. I streamed for seven hours straight. It's crazy. <laughs> but I got a, I got the re, it's, you know, a reactor going down with a turbine on it. It's cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but today, I'm going to be working on some pneumatic crap because I need to get further into this mod so I can make all my dreams come true <laughs> to have a snazzy elevator in my underground base. So, Let's go have a look. I've had some suggestions on uh, some ways to improve my setup down here for the pneumatic craft. It hasn't really been running because I didn't, I didn't have this chunk loaded, but now I can chunk load it uh, because uh, Jake showed me how to increase uh, the number of chunks that I can have in my single player world. So now I can go ahead and shift click that and load it up. Shazam. <laughs> uh, so this guy is, it's running. Um, I might, I might be able to get another air compressor on this. Um, I think I was told that four is a good pressure and it's at three now and it's gone up one for each bar of pressure for each uh, compressor that I added. So maybe put another one on there. Oh, I actually have one made. Um, Oh, I don't have any of these pipes in there. So tube tape one use. Um if this runs well and it doesn't like uh look like it's I wonder how much of that is getting sucked up. Please don't suck up my charcoal. Oh, I forgot. I don't need to do that. Oh, yeah, I just, I just grab one from here and I'm good. So hopefully that will increase the pressure. It's, it lowered it uh, because it imbalanced it, uh, but it should go up back up to four. But I'm getting a much better temperature now, but I was told to take the ice away. <laughs> uh, but like it, it's working. Um, so I want to see how much the temperature changes. Uh, I was told you can get extra plastic from this if you put a heat sink below it. Heat sink. I have a couple of them actually. And something with the heat frame and a chest. Let's just get a normal chest. Oop. Awesome. Um, I'm not sure how this versus heat into the air. It only connects to the block it's on, not simply adjacent to. When an air grate tube module is pointed at it, its effectiveness is greatly increased. Um, 
So the way he said it, I, I might need to rearrange all of these guys. So, ooh, yeah, because I'm, I think I need right directly under here to put a chest. Uh, let me, let me look at the post again. Bring that up. Okay. Uh... Okay, so yeah, I'm going to have to move these, so I'm going to lose all my pressure, so let's just do it and get it over with. Okay. Oh, no. Let's take it off. Woo. Okay, so if we don't need the ice, then we don't need this. <laughs> Um, I will get into other uh, ways to generate pressure in this, but uh, yeah, I just, I can't, I don't have the tech right now, I don't have the plastic, so I can't really do it. I wonder how, is that how it goes? Or is it the other way around? Oh, no. open, you can open the chest under it, and you're supposed to put frame. Oh, wait, there's something about a tank. Let me. You make a liquid plastic store in your low tier. Huh. Oh, it says a chest facing the heat sink, uh, not underneath it. I can't break this. <laughs> I can't. No, okay, so I probably have to use my my little doodad. No! Oh, man. Okay, so I have to actually get a, something to break a block that's not a gadget. So I guess this will work. Hopefully. Yes. All right. Um, I guess let's put there. I don't know. It, it's actually the same temperature now, so. Um, okay, so let us set these guys up. I don't know, maybe. Maybe here. And I'll probably need some more of this cable. Um, 
two. So I'm gonna close these. There we go. Uh, so now I can put these in there and be good to go. All right, so now it should start. Uh, oh, the temperature is actually dropping. Look at that. Uh, now, I'm not sure how this uh, will affect the pressure difference. And I probably did this wrong. This is like something completely different to pneumatic craft. So, um, I still, uh, this is like a very basic setup uh, and I don't have a lot of room in here, uh, but I think I might take this and move it over into the base so I can have more room than just this uh, eventually. So I'm getting all of the different fluids and such. Uh, now I need to be able to take like this LPG and I need to turn it into uh, plastic and um, Jake was telling me that there are ways that you can convert these other fluids like the diesel, uh, the kerosene, and the gasoline all into the LPG. So that, that would be super cool and nice, but we need more, uh, more setups, I guess. Uh, so let me see what, uh, What are the recipes for LPG in a refinery controller? You can turn diesel. Is this what this means? You can turn diesel. Oh, is it? It's the thermopneumatic processing plant. That's right. So you can turn gasoline into LPG at a temperature of greater than or equal to 300 degrees celsius oh ouch so you have to have a good setup for this one oh look at that the temperature is way hotter now oh that's working out great and the temperature isn't even as low as the ice was so, um, okay, it says when you make the liquid plastic, store it in a low tier 32 bucket pneumatic tank. When you fill the tank with liquid plastic, take the tank and throw it into the chest surrounded by the heat frame. This chest is super cold and will have a chance of producing extra plastic sheets. Oh, so I need to, I guess, change this out for a, uh, a mech tank. A basic fluid tank. I can do that. Uh, so, uh oh. Oh, that can't do it because uh, it's it's out of juice. Can I like have this drain into that? Let's see, just my doodad. I'm not sure if that's a thing. I know you could do it with thermal series tanks, but they don't have those anymore, so. Aha! The Sam.
It's a thing. Nice. Yeah, so um, I guess I need to get some more crude oil then. Uh, because that's going to be what's holding me back is the crude oil. So I actually um, I saw Jake's face and he has a setup. Uh, where he gets crude oil from building a industrial foregoing mining setup in the desert and you can just get all kinds of crude oil from there so maybe that's what I need to do for my next step so that I can get some more of this without having to go around looking for hours for puddles on the surface um oh but there is a cool uh tool i guess that pneumatic craft i think it's like a size seismic sensor if you this item is used to track down crude oil deposits and maybe other underground fluids depending on the configuration when right-clicked, it will show whether or not a fluid deposit was found directly under the clicked block. Oh, so it's good for just finding ones on the ground? Yeah. Uh, so. Do, 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 do. Um, what I'm going to do is let's get out of here. Uh, this looks, let me check. The bar, it looks like it's stable, maybe, 390. I just don't know if I should let this continue to run since, um, you know, there's nothing to process. I mean, how long does it take? Whoa, the top temperature is 1,024? Oh man, that is a lot better. Yeah. And it's like it's going down. So that is, that is a that's a really good tip. Thank you, Sean Burke. Uh Jake, I, I saw Jake set up, uh, but I couldn't get it to work. So <laughs> I just I gave up on the heat sink. Uh but I was I was doing it wrong. I had a pipe above it and it just wasn't working. So placing it directly onto uh, the vortex tube helped. I guess I didn't have the vortex tube. Maybe that was my problem. Because I was trying to put the heat sink up. I don't know. So let's do this. Get some of this stuff out of my inventory. Eat food tank. Yeah. And I think the rest of the stuff, oh, I forgot. I forgot a crafting upgrade. There we go. Uh, so another mining setup, but this one has to be a fluid laser. Fluid laser base. Uh, oh, I do have it on auto craft. I hope I have enough ether gas to make this. My ether gas setup is kaput. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Fluid laid space. Um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna make the thirty six. There we go. That's gonna take us a minute. 
a good hot minute but we need this oil so that i can get more stuff i need more stuff um let's see we'll need power so we need a point got the point um i think i'm pretty low on power cables how I only have 19 that's probably not going to be enough so let's get getting some more just stock up right i need those cables yum. Yum, yum, yum. excellent uh so cables we need the Reels ready? Not quite. Uh, but then we need all of the upgrades. What? That's going to take forever. Let's, I guess, let's get it going. Oh, it's not upgrades, it's add-on. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I think the fluid laser base does not accept the speed add-on. So I only need a efficiency and processing for that one. But all the others can take one of each. So, start that. Get those started. That's going to take a good long while. Boom. And boom. 36 drills. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need? Oh, I need an ender chest. Yes, indeedy. Uh, that one looks like it's blank. Sweet. Uh, so, ender chest on the top. These guys all around. Power cables, point. Um, yeah, I think that's all I need other than the add-ons, which, uh, are not. So, yeah, this is going to take a while. Um, give me just a second see how I'm doing okay I think uh, I think I can have enough time <laughs> boop, boop. oh it's still got quite a ways to go I guess let's go try and give it a little zhuzh to see if we can help it speed up the process because it is just one machine <laughs> yes that is much better It seems to be keeping up with the power, but it's not exporting it fast enough. Ah, uh, that's because there are no... Okay, I guess it's done. Oh, look at that! Boop. 
efficiency, speed, processing, looks like everything. Yeah, okay. We got one extra of everything. So processing, 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 efficiency, 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 and then there's the speed. Okay, good deal. So now we can go uh, on an adventure to find a desert. Pretty sure I have one up to the north. Um, dude, I remember I went exploring up there past Creoclork and there was a big desert, but it's not there. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go to Creoclork, I guess, just to save for travel time. So I'm pretty sure it's up there. Uh, where is it? I don't see the Creole. Oh, next. There we go. Uh, now, last time. Uh huh. I remember you. You terrorized me from day one. Ah, no, I can't see. Ha ha. Eat my arrows of doom. Oh no. Ah, gotcha, buddy. Don't terrorize me anymore. Okay, so to the north. There's some little tiny places, but let's zoom. But then we're going to have to slow down and let it load. Uh, yeah, just let... Let me go ahead and pause the video. I'm pretty sure that there's a desert around here somewhere. Be right back. Okay, and I'm back. It was just a little bit further. Um, your pre clerks down here. So I knew there was one up here, and it's got some a red sand. So, but this is a desert. So this should work to set this guy up. Um, let's get these guys. Ta -dam. Now, only one of them. Uh, actually, none of them are facing the proper way. Well, let me get this out from under there. I'm kind of getting a little bit of lag here. Also, I forgot, I forgot the no, I did it. I forgot the. Uh, the lens, it might not work without a lens. Uh, look up crude oil. Oh boy. Crude oil. Laser drill. Oh, so you need a black laser lens. Oh, you could also do this in an ocean biomes. Warm ocean. That is pretty cool because I have lots of water. <laughs> so I, I guess I could have done this in an ocean, but I'm not sure there are actually oceans nearby. I would have to that. Oh, 
But that's cool to know that you can do ocean for oil. Uh oh. So I guess what I should have done was to make a waystone and bring it with me so I wouldn't have to run out here again. But, you know. No. Is that the right? Yeah, this should turn it. Whoa! I see you! See, I'm not sure it will do anything until I get that lens on it. Oh, I can't reach that one. But I guess I could go ahead and set everything else up. Um, and then run back, get a waystone. And head back out here and install the lens and turn it on. There we go. Oh. Dude, what was that? Oh, that was from the creeper. Okay. Nice. Uh, so I guess we can get our little doodads in here. No. That's silly. It's silly that that goes in there. Okay, so this is the thing. I'm going to install all of these upgrades or add-ons. I'm going to go back to the base. I'm going to get the lens and I'm going to bring it back out here and start this thing up. And I will be back when that is finished. Okay, I made it back. Um, I got my lens. Oh, dude, I forgot something. I did. Um, I wonder what depth this needs to be at. It doesn't seem to be <laughs> accumulating anything. If I go down to 40, now it looks like it's getting stuff. Let's go down to zero. Three. Three's a good number. Uh, so I realized my mistake earlier. I grabbed a ender chest and not an ender tank. So I got a couple of ender tanks while I was there and I dyed them black to represent oil. So now it should go in there. No. Oh, I got to tell it, duh, to push out the top. Um, also, another thing I forgot was uh, I accidentally sent one stack of my uh, add-ons into my ender bag and I forgot to grab them. But instead of bringing a waystone, I brought a teleporter because I'm going to have to have power out here. One thing I did not think about was... These things draw a, and hold a lot of power. I mean, look, it's still got 123 million FE to go through. It probably drained my entire uh, base under the ground. Uh, so I might have to swap these out for 
just some basic ones to limit the amount of power this thing draws <laughs> because that is that is crazy uh so yeah let's do i have any basic ones i think no, all i have is ultimate uh so what i think i'll do is i'll set my flux point down here this anywhere and put the teleporter on it and then call this um oil oil there we go so now i can go back to the house i can get all my stuff all my power cables Oh, dude, I'm just completely voiding all this power. Okay, how do I... Ugh, it's got to be done. It's got to be done, I guess. I really wanted this big fat cable in my life, but I forgot what... What a power drain this is. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some basic cables on it. And that should limit it to 3,000-ish. 3,000-ish. And we'll see. And I can grab my other, <laughs> my other stuff while I'm there. Uh, let's do yep they are um cable i just want the basic right there oops i don't got basic there we go um let's see there's 36 so i need at least that uh so probably Let's just make 64. It shouldn't take any time at all, really. Stuff. All right. Now we can go back to the crude oil. Um. It's not chunk loaded. Dude, okay. Um, okay, I'll see you back. <laughs> I'll see you back out there. Okay, and we're back. I think I got everything. I got my uh, basic cables here. Yeah, because this thing was pulling out like 800,000 a tick. And I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> not that much, please. Oops. Okay, so I just need to connect these up. And boop, boop, and a boop. Okay, and I need to install these other 15. Uh, I need to find which ones that I didn't get them installed on. Maybe it's this one. Yep. Get them all pushed in there. And everything will be swell. I need to sleep before the mobs start spawning. And try to eat my face off.
this thing still going? Oh yeah, I drained out all the epi. All right, so now I need to get this guy and put him here. See, that's much better. 6,000 epi a tick is much better of a drain. Put that guy up there. Put an upgrade in him. Now, I don't have to do this. I could just do the thing. But I figure since I got this out here as well, ensure that it's chunk loaded so I can teleport here. How am I doing on the chunks? Is this like all in one chunk? Sweet. I landed right smack dab in the middle of the chunk. Awesome. Uh, so that should get me the oil. It doesn't look like it's going up though. But anyway, I can take my other uh my other ender chest back to the base now. Got my lens installed. It just, it just doesn't look like it's doing anything. Is that too low? There. 20 is doing it. This looks like 50 to 150. Okay, so zero looks too low, but 20 to 30 seems to do fine. There we go. Oh, wow, look, that jumped up very quickly. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we got the stuff, we got the juice coming in. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.